Hi. Okay. Um, Mary and Jesus have gifted us with some more channeled information. And this is the second time that I've heard Jesus talk about Allah as a human. Uh, really, someone who has been on earth, who has passed from the earth, and is now living in the spirit world with all the other human beings. Um, that means that when Muhammad wrote the Quran, he was channeling what Allah wanted to say. That's what I'm putting together right now. And it's very interesting. You know, the first time I heard Jesus say that, I thought perhaps he misspoke. <laughs> but, you know, this is the second time, so now I'm quite sure he didn't. Um, throughout my life, my religious life, I uh, have been a fan of referring to Allah as, you know, the Christian God or, you know, these using that term as an interchangeable term. Uh, you know, to, to say that, you know, we're all children of God. We all worship the same God. Of course, there are atheists and people who aren't sure. But, but maybe that's not true. I have to re-look at that, the, the, uh, the ideas that I had with respect to that. Um, it's interesting to think that so many people could, you know, be really worshiping a human being, not our true heavenly parent. And, uh, but it's not so strange when you think of how many people are really, in a way, worshiping Buddha. You know, Buddha is a person who, you know, lived a life that we can, that Buddhists want to emulate. But in many ways, especially certain sects, people worship that man, which isn't a good thing. Of course, just like how Christians worship Jesus, and that's not a good thing. But um, let me just share, you know, on this theme of maybe we're not all worshiping the same God. I, I'm, I'm not going to claim that I'm an expert, but what I have put together in my life and what I have come to discover and find is, among other things, God is our parent. God is our loving parent. God isn't so much our Lord and our commander, you know. No one really uses that term, but when I think of Lord, I think of someone that I, I have to obey no matter what. And, and while... This is something that I have personally struggled with and I'm still struggling with. God wants us to obey him, him, her. God has male and female characteristics. Um, God is not demanding that we obey him, her. Okay, and that's a critical difference. God wants us to know the truth and know what goodness and love is. And in that knowing, from that place of understanding, we would make the right decisions. And we would learn that it's the best choice in every case to obey God. So, um, I think that's lost on some Muslims who, you know, think of God as this great, all wonderful, powerful. And, and Jesus, and I, and I will say as a caveat that Jesus does say that if you are feeling certain feelings for our creator, this, this entity that has created our souls and everything that we know, then those feelings will uh, depart from your soul and and be felt by our heavenly, you know, parent, by our creator. But if you're attributing certain feelings to this entity, Allah, you know, that, who is really a person, that's a different story. Um, okay, I lost my track and I have to catch my bus. But, uh, yeah, I'll just end it there. Um... Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think Muslims kind of get lost in in worshiping God as, you know, someone that they have to obey these particular rituals. And, and with God, it's not about ritual. It's about feelings. I'm sure I will amend certain things that I've said in this video at some point, but I hope that's helpful to some people.